Howdy, I'm Sully, thank you for coming to my channel. Today we're going to be doing a review on the Carve Overlander. Beautiful machining on this razor. And we're going to be using Ariana and Evans, the Club, Club and Roses. Uh, the Club is a subscription only, membership based, VIP type program that Ariana and Evans runs at their sister site, Shaving Shop. I believe it's shavingshopclub.com. I'll have a link in the description if you want to check it out. And for the splash, we're going to be going with Club and Roses Splash. And for the brush, we're going to be going with the Perfecto Cheapy, cheap little badger brush. It works, works really well actually for being so cheap. And then uh, our frag doesn't really match uh, Club and Roses. I don't have the EDP, but for today it's going to be Blue de Chanel. And we'll be mixing that up in the Langley City Shave Bowl. Now, I don't know if I've shown this off yet in detail with this camera, but here's what it looks like. Langley City Shave Shop, 3D printed bowl. Custom colors. I had it uh, specifically designed to match the First Line Shave Life and Death set to match this, which I'll be doing a review on soon. So the Overlander was sent to me courtesy of Nikki Shaves. I'll leave a description, or I'll leave a link to his Instagram in the description. You can check it out. When you open it up, it actually comes with a instruction manual on how to take care of brass, general maintenance for the brass. You can pause that and take a look if you want. There's the back. even gives you instructions for air travel and it comes with some cutouts here I don't want to flip this completely because there's a uh, washer in there I don't want to fall out but it gives you a basic instruction manual you can see I tucked it underneath the uh, foam here I'll try not to cut myself while I'm showing you this look at the beauty of this I'm just gonna read this off their website too so you guys can take a look at this while I'm reading it so the Overlander, the entire razor is constructed from solid brass and is bead blasted for a subtle matte finish. As is the case with all uncoated brass items, a patina will form over time and the surfaces will darken. The razor is completely is the razor is complete and only requires a blade to be ready to use. Overall length is 3.85 inches, handle length is 3.55 inches, handle thread is 10 by 32. Blade gap 0.73 millimeters, blade exposure 0 0.07 millimeters, and mass is 110 grams. So in here we have a second use permasharp. You can see there's the, uh, the blade gap in the exposure. Here's the bottom. Rounded edge, so you cannot stand it up you need a stand it will kind of like wobble and, and topple over if you're not careful so let's talk about the carve overlander the geometry on the head is very interesting um it's very smooth and i mean the the top cap is very smooth the milling on the brass handle is actually really good it's pretty grippy and i like it and when you have wet hands, it doesn't, it's not really a, a chore to hold on to. It's actually very easy to hold on to, especially with these ridge lines here across the middle. So I'm going to get some soap in the bowl and we'll get lathering. This is what the scoop looks like, the pour for uh, the club, club and roses. I'll have a list of all the ingredients and everything. Down below, this is in the Ariana and Evans K2E base. And I've got only about uh, 
24 hours worth of growth. So we're not going to be going too crazy. Probably only going to do two passes. And the Overlander is known for, around the community, for being a slightly mild razor. However, their claim is that if you want to go against the grain on the first pass, you can. And we're going to try that today. So here's the amount of soap I'm using. And the way this bowl works, you can see it's got the uh, protrusions all the way around and that really helps agitate the soap and build the lather very, very quickly. You can see the honeycomb has a gap down there. That gap also facilitates in building the lather up really, really quickly. Almost looks like banana, squished a banana <laughs> for Club and Roses. This soap is great though, honestly. All right, so like I said, the claim to fame on the Overlander is you can go against the grain on the first pass, so let's try it. Here we go. Now, one thing I'll say about the Overlander, and this is why I wanted to do this review, is that at least with the brass model, there's quite a bit of dragging. Now, when I say dragging, uh, it still cuts and it's no problem. It's just hard to explain. It's, it's just a dragging feeling. I will say the angle is very easy to find. And it's not difficult at all. When I say draggy, I don't mean like, you know, it's like scraping. It's, I mean like it feels like if there's not a lot of slickness there, it just stops and gets stuck. And I think that's because of the brass. But it is smooth too, it's weird. It's smooth and kind of draggy sometimes. It's kind of weird. And the K2E just has a great amount of residual slickness. I mean, it might be the best in the game, to be honest, the residual slickness on the K2E. I just went over that like five times, and it's still really slick. A lot of these other soaps, I'll go over it like two, three times, and it's not very slick anymore. So far, so good against the green. All right, first pass is done. Let's rinse off and see if we need another one. Now with these 3D printed bowls, uh, new friend that I made, DK Damn Fine Shaves, said that uh, just be easy when you're using these bowls because the protrusions can possibly damage the natural hair and it could possibly damage the synthetic hairs too. All right. Now, the thing about this uh, Overlander um, 
that sometimes I don't like is you can see here the edges. The edges are very, very sharp, very sharp, not rounded at all. So when I go back here to get, you know, over here, every once in a while I've noticed I will stab myself with this corner. Now, I'm not hitting myself with the blade, but I'm hitting myself with the sharp corner here of the razor. You can see that there. I mean, it's really hard to nick yourself with this, to be honest. Like, I feel like I can go over the same spot a bunch of times. I'm here, I got a nick right here. So, <laughs> as I say that, that it's hard to get a nick. But in reality, it is really hard to get a nick. I mean, you really got to go over and press a lot, or, which you shouldn't be doing, you should be applying no pressure, or um, the against the grain on the first pass may have been the cause of this tiny little nick. And that's another thing, too, I noticed about the Overlander. While it is uh, kind of efficient, I feel like I will get irritation because I have to keep going over the same spot several times to, you know... Got to add some water to this. I feel like I have to go over the same spot several times just to get, uh, you know get all the hair. I feel like I'm not getting all the hair. Probably am, but in the several times that I've used this and I've gone over the same spot multiple times, the hair was not gone. So whatever the claims of efficiency are, your mileage may vary, as people like to say. There's already a couple spots under there I can tell. I can feel it that need a touch up. So I'm just lathering them up now. What works really well to, to stretch the skin is put your dip your fingers in water and then put rub the alum block if you have an alum block. And then you can literally just, I tried using glycerin. I got some glycerin and tried using glycerin, but it, it doesn't work as good as the alum does. And it's kind of messy and sloppy. Trying to be very careful not to get any mix on the upper lip. And I like going, some guys go um, out to in. I like going in to out on the upper lip because uh, as Ken Surf says, you have a lot more control that way over the uh, tip of the blade, the end of the blade to get underneath the nose. See, like right there. Look, see, tell me if you can see this. Let's see. See that? It digs in, the corner digs in to your neck. And I think that's just a slight design flaw that can be remedied in a new model.
And I know a lot of people swear by the overlander, but that problem and the problem of not feeling the blade enough for me is kind of annoying because like I said, then I have to go over the same part and it, and it doesn't cut uh, as effectively as let's say the Rockwell 6C on plate six or five. And it's not designed to, I mean, it's not designed to have the most blade exposure, but for a razor that claims you can go against the grain on the first pass, it should be able to do that no problem. Not a lot of thought at all. And that's kind of what the Overlander was designed for. You don't have to think, you just go go and hit it and knock it down. And uh, you don't have to do a lot of mowing, as they say. All right, final rinse off and then we're all set. I'll come back and give you my final thoughts on the Carve Overlander. Not bad, not too many stings, not too many zings. While the alum is drying, I'll just say uh, there's a lot of good qualities about the Overlander for sure. And I'm not sure if the stainless steel version is a lot smoother than the brass version. They also have a copper version, an aluminum version, and I believe a bronze version as well with matching stands. Let's do the splash. Love that artwork. And Peter's splashes are phenomenal in that they smell really, really powerful. And they're almost like an EDT in themselves. I sometimes find myself putting it on the back of my hand or my wrist and wearing it as an EDT. They're very good. So I, I don't have any of his extraits, perfumes, but I do want to get some. So uh, I'm definitely interested. Because uh, these are so powerful, I can't imagine what the x streets are like. All right. Do a little bit in the hand. Generous amount. And the splash smells way better than the soap. way better. All right, and today's frag, like I said, is Blue de Chanel. This is actually the frag that got me started into the fragrance and wet shaving game. And I got a bunch of colognes, if you want to call it, EDTs, EDPs, perfumes, after I first got blue. And I got to get a new bottle because this one's pretty much killed. All right, mm. smells amazing, guys. Blue de Chanel, good stuff. Great shave. Two and a half passes against the grain. Very minimal nicks. I mean, the nicks that were there got closed up. BBS all around. Absolutely love it. What can I say about the club, the shop, shaving shop? A and E. We used Club and Roses. Phenomenal. If you guys don't have this, highly recommend you go get it. It is amazing. Kind of colony, kind of fresh, kind of a little bit dark, a little boozy, a little whiskey, a little jasmine, and definitely some sandalwood undertones in this, and I love it. it smells amazing. Frag, as you saw, Blue de Chanel. The brush was the Perfecto Fine Badger brush in the Langley City Shave Shop 3D printed custom color bowl with the Smiles for Miles scooper. Love this thing. I'll leave a link to Smiles' Etsy store where you can get uh, those scoopers and a bunch of other stuff. And today we went with the Overlander, Brass Overlander with the Second Use Permasharp. And I love this blade. The blade is amazing. 
Do I love the Razer? Would I buy the Razer uh, if Nikki hadn't sent it to me? I actually had it in my cart and I was going to buy it, but even if I got the aluminum version, even if I got the stainless steel version, I don't think that I would honestly buy it. And the reason being is I think it's too mild. If you could swap out the plates with the Christopher Bradley and use a more aggressive plate, then I might do that. But I wouldn't buy components like that just to do that. Um, I would, I would, I, if I want to buy a razor, I want to buy a razor and then not have to buy anything else unless it's like a more aggressive plate. I don't like mild razors anymore. I don't like mild plates. I like aggressive. And while this does cut pretty well, for me, it's not as aggressive as I would like. Uh, so therefore, no, I would not buy this uh, with my own money. And again, until they fix these corners here, these jagged, super jagged corners that poke you and hurt you, um, I won't, I won't be getting one. I won't be getting one. But if you like mild razors that are pretty efficient, then uh, I would recommend the Overlander. But if you don't like mild razors and you like something a little bit more aggressive, then I would go with the Christopher Bradley and a little bit more aggressive plate. But um, overall, it's a, it's a decent razor. It's a decent razor. It's a good razor. I like it. And if it was in my collection, then I would use it. But since it's not, I'm going to be sending it back to Nikki. Thank you again, Nikki Shaves. I appreciate it. And thank you all so much for stopping by my channel again and uh, watching another shave. Thank you again. Take care. Have a great day. Be safe. And don't forget, shave away.